Sometimes you read the paper and watch the news, and it seems like there's more bad news than good in the world. But you know what? It's just not true. I at least can hold on to something, that there's something, that, maybe it's small, but there's something that I'm doing to make a difference. It's just a feeling that you have. If you can help people, you have to. There's no alternative. Every child has potential that we just can't know. And so to my mind, that's what we're doing. We are saving potential for the future. The College Union is the place on thousands of college campuses where students, faculty, staff, and the wider community come together to interact and learn from each other outside the classroom. At California State University Northridge, the union serves as the visionary force that honors each individual and values diversity, braiding together different lives and experiences through dialogue, discussions, and collaboration. University Student Union at California State University, Northridge, means everything to me. It's an example of how you can provide something to students that allows them to keep their own individuality, but also be part of a greater whole. My philosophy has always been that we serve communities within the community. We are here at California State University, Northridge. This is a huge campus. We have about 36,000 people here, and it is uh, one of the 23 CSU campuses in California. Cal State Northridge is a shining example, just a piece of the tapestry that makes up college unions. So how each college union fulfills their mission is very different. So we really take the role of the college union seriously in everything we do. It's very intentional. We have a series of interconnected buildings um, and a main pedestrian street that connects everyone. Um, just going down the avenue from the Student Recreation Center that was completed on January 26, 2012 and it is part of the University Student Union that was established in 1957. And right now, one of the training zones. We have over 1,000 students a day coming through here. We offer a total of six full basketball courts along with a top floor indoor track. I applied to Cal State Northridge because it was the closest campus to my, to my home. I was very closely connected to my family. We do have many students who are what we might say first generation students who are the first in their families to attend college, complete college. You know, leaving home, you know, against my father's will to come to campus here, you know, and breaking the, the familiar traditions of, you know, the woman must stay at the home until marriage. For them, this is an entirely new culture that they're having to acclimate to. So they bring many gifts and talents, but they may not necessarily match the skill sets that are required to navigate a whole new cultural system. I had to prove myself and I needed to prove myself in the classroom. I had to take remedial classes um, in order to be able to stay here at uh, CSUN. Ooh. And it was very stressful. It's funny because um, it all comes full circle. Sandy just recently finished her doctorate in, in higher education from the University of Southern California and she's now Dr. Sandy Vasquez and I still remember when she was like, you know, the younger girl joining the board. There are three core values that transcend every college union. It's unconditional human worth, it's caring community, and it is joy. 
it is joy. It brings people together where they celebrate, where they are safe, and where they they have an opportunity. And I, I got the position. I was so overwhelmed with joy that I, I was I felt so committed. I said, forget everything else, it's USU comes first. Cal State Northridge is an extremely diverse institution. We really represent the cosmopolitan nature of, of our region. Uh, we draw students from a broad range of socioeconomic backgrounds. When we talk about a diverse university, we are it. We have a large population of disabled students. So all of that together means it's really important for us to develop programs, services, and activities that are reflective of all of those cultures. This campus has really gave me an opportunity to grow as a person and establish relationships and just become a stronger person. You will see students of every color and every culture and um, every ethnicity all working together and all enjoying themselves. We are located at the USU and this is one of our lounges that we come to study play Yu-Gi-Oh games, get on our laptop, have a little fun sometimes. Here they get together, you know, they chill with their friends, they um, come and they do work, um, kind of make it more inclusive. This actually does start to feel like home and start to feel like a community and a family. It is a space, but the meaning behind what you can gain out of going there, it's really about relationships. It's about finding your place and finding a place where you're welcome, where you belong, where you fit, and where people really truly genuinely care about you. It's very important for us to have this kind of support system because well, my brother and I were from the foster care system so my uncle he's 88 years old he raised us he raised us both. I have spinal muscular atrophy type 3 it's a form of muscular dystrophy and I was born with it it's just there it's part of me it's not entirely who I am it's just part of how I move through space. We didn't always have a strong family to come home to or, or um, someone to relate to, you know, someone our age. So we always had each other. We stuck together and now that we're in college, there's so many mentors here at the USU, Ms. Sharon, Ms. Deborah, that we can run to and have that kind of, that mom feel or that, that kind of brother feel with others who are in our community. Me and my chair, we're a package deal, so um, it's really exciting to know that I feel accepted for and included for um, who I am as a person within the USU. With that relationship with the staff here and our peers in our classrooms, our colleagues, it feels like a family. There's 37,000 students on campus. We're only two. So it's kind of hard to fit in, you know, and especially being from foster care, you know, if you tell people you're, you're emancipated out of foster care, they're like, well, what is foster care for? And those who do know, they have a, a, a stereotype, you know, or are you, you know, gang related or anything? So we, we're here to, to, you know, contradict those stereotypes, but also make our lives and the lives around us better. The magic of life occurs in the student union. You know, there are planned things and we have a vision for how the year is going to go. But then something happens. It's called human beings interacting. And <laughs> they produce outcomes that we perhaps didn't anticipate. We hope that over time we've dealt with a broad enough range of different kinds of, of ways in which students experience each other. We just opened uh, two new centers this year. One is the Pride Center for our um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender students. And then we've also opened a Veterans Resource Center. I'm a peer mentor for the Veteran Resource Center. Uh, and in a nutshell, that's one vet to another vet. And I think one of the things that's really important to us is that we've always considered ourselves educators outside of the classroom. And the idea is that uh, you know, like minds get together and share like experiences so that we could reach out to our veteran population, which to date is at almost 600. Because we have such a unique structure in terms of actually having a nonprofit corporation that is governed by students, it keeps us really in touch with what the students want. I'm chair of the board of directors for the University Student Union. Well, it's a place for students to call home, a hub for them to come to with their friends, and just gives them more of an enhanced college experience. So what makes this specific Veteran Resource Center unique uh, is that it's funded by and run by students, uh, the student union. The union also provides so many facilities and services that give students the opportunity uh, to really 
get involved with things that they want to do. But because it's through and for students, it has a whole different approach, a whole different uh, mission. Uh, and that mission ultimately is community. And it's not just the veteran community, but it's, it's building those bridges to the community at large both on and off campus. We are all servant leaders. So if we understand that comment, that concept, that we're servant leaders, we serve first, and then we teach, and then we lead, then we can provide what our students need and want. It's, you know, it's a beautiful experience to go through um, struggle and to come out um, feeling really strong. It's helped me more than I thought it ever would. In working with other veterans, getting to know other veterans, I got to know myself better. Um, in the process, I, I came to the realization, hey, I think I might need help too. Uh, and so I'm seeking help now to make sure that I can be the best Ian that I can possibly be. And that's what I wish for every veteran that I come in contact with, that they can be the best person that they can be, both on campus and when they leave. Yeah. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. Well, the future looks to me really amazing, super bright. I hope to um, go into public relations, whether it be with entertainment or a nonprofit or um, fashion or lifestyle industry. And I'm really focused on special events. So one day I'm going to plan the Oscars. Happy 100th anniversary, ACUI. For the Visionaries, I'm Sam Waterston. Visionaries is brought to you in partnership with Harvard Kennedy School's Ash Center for Democratic Governance and Innovation, and through the generosity of Frank and Barbara Manley, Tom Hormel, the Parker Family Foundation, Nebraska Tourism Commission, Rogers, Our Passion is Building, Advantage Fitness Products, PNC Bank, Grand Island Chamber of Commerce, and from the generous support of the following.